about it before and maybe no one told you you would look great in it, you'd think, ah, oh, no, I don't know. Like, it's too risky. I never wear anything like that. I've never, like, I don't think I could pull that off and you leave. As opposed to if that sales associate said, or even one of your friends said, I think you would look great in this. I think that you could pull this off. It's just sometimes you need someone to approach you and invite you to give you that confidence and that you can do that for one of your friends. And if you lead with the opportunity in terms of what it's doing for you, why you think that they would be great, why you love this opportunity and want to share it with them, then it's not going to come off the salesy. You don't have to pretend to have all the answers. You don't have to pretend to know everything. If you want to be in a group text with your coach and now your newer coaches, let's set that up. If you want them to be in our new coach mentorship program, let's do that. If you want them to be, you add them into our team pages, you invite them to these team calls and you do it together. You don't have to feel like you need to know a certain amount before you start inviting people <clears throat> to join you. So I just wanted to share some of that with you. Um, I know that now it's 6.54, so I don't know if Marie is on the call now. Um, oh, I think I see her on there. Can you see me? No. I cannot see you, but I saw your name. <laughs> Um, uh, press the heck? start iPad. video towards the oh. bottom, Murray. There's a little okay. video. Handy, where did you even come from? <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> here. <laughs> okay, wait, what wait. am I? Okay. There should be a video. <gasps> like a little, do you see it? Oh, yeah. There you are. Yeah, this is cool. so fun having you on. I'm like, I know. Thanks. I know. It's so fun. It's real, actually. Yeah. Do you remember the episode of Friends when they go to like, oh my gosh, Monica? <laughs> it's been my day. I'm loving it. Um, so before Hi, we friends. let Marie, before we let yeah. Marie take it away, I just as Brittany was talking and um, I shared the Rachel Hollis call that I wasn't supposed to share today on our team page. So if you, when you win, when you hit success club, a lot of times you're going to get to go, you'll get invited to calls. So this today was with Rachel Hollis, which is the author of girl, wash your face. And she, I mean, she like broke it down. She's like, you guys are the reason my book is rocking and you have no problem telling your social media, telling all your friends, Oh my gosh, go buy my book, which I of course don't mind. But then at the end, she's like, why don't you do this about the things that you love most, which is your product? You should be so proud of what it is that you have and so excited about what you have to offer that you have no problem inviting anybody into the business, into the, into the products, because we know they work. There's no, there's no like, oh, well, they kind of work. No, they work. A hundred percent. You do the work, they work. And so she just like hit it home. She's like, I'm grateful that you sell my stuff, but at the end of the day, like go sell your own stuff. You know, like that's what, that's what it's for. That's what these social media sites are for. And the more you break down yourself, the easier it is to invite because people will never see you as a salesperson. They will never see you as this person who just wants their money. They see you as a person who has value to offer their life, who has a product that's changed their life and who has nothing but authenticity and themselves to bring you into whatever it is they're bringing to you. And I think that that I was just like, I mean, that's it. That's, that's as real as it gets. And I think we just, you know, I know I have beat around the bush on coaching for three years, which is, I mean, it's a proof of my business. My personal business is great because I'm like a freaking open book, but the rest of me is because I'm too afraid to like put it out there once in a while. And I'm at that place where I'm like, Oh no big deal. I'll just say it on Sundays. I'll just say all these things on Sundays, get one like and be like, well, I did it. You know, that's not going to do it. That's, and, and I see that now and I wish someone, you know, I wish I was having this now. Um, so just, I think the more you break down yourself, the more you invite people into your life, the easier it is to invite them to anything. Cause they're never going to say to you, well, you're just a product pusher. You just want me to buy something. No, I want you to change your life. And here's the products that are going to do it for you. And here's the team that's going to wrap rally behind you and make that happen. And so I just wanted to, because it fit in quite well with Britt, but we'll let Marie take it away. So Marie. Well, actually, um, hi, sorry, go. <laughs> <laughs> so um, Marie, sorry. Um, Marie and um, so Marie, Brittany and Andy and I's husband have been friends longer than, well, since like middle school. So we, this is very neat for all of us yeah. to be, and we're not, you know, I mean, Marie does Beachbody products, but she's not obviously a coach. I think once upon a time you were a coach. 
I thought about it and then I was no, like, I can't balance no, at all. <laughs> as a discount coach though? Maybe. So you could get Shakeology cheap? Probably. Probably. And her sister. So <laughs> just oh, yeah. throw that in. But this is very, um, so Marie has um, two babes and she is a teacher and she's fantastic and we love her dearly and she's dynamic and she's funny and she's um, all You're the things. Me that, now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but she's done really great in just a short amount of time on her Instagram. She doesn't do anything what we do, but what she does do is engage with people and she has a great following. And so I just thought it would be great to hear from someone who's like totally outside of our world to just hear how she's done that and see some of the tips that she would share with all of us. So take it away. Okay. So I have a question actually for you guys okay. before I like get going because it kind of like piggybacks on the way you were just talking about. Are you guys not allowed to explicitly say Shakeology? Are you not like, is there, are there rules against it? Like, do you have to beat around the bush or are you allowed to say, Hey, this is what I do. Is it like an unspoken kind of a thing? Um, we call it cre um, curiosity marketing. Okay. It's just, it's not so much that you can't. Um, it's just that you'd rather get people to engage because when they hear like, oh, I'm a beach body coach, they instantly are like, oh, so is my right. cousin, so is my sister and that, right. that lives down the street. So when you, when we get people to more talk like, oh, I'm a health and fitness coach. Oh, what exactly is that entail? Now sure. you're conversating. So they get to know you a little bit better versus they've already lumped you into this category that you maybe are, are aren't. Okay. So yeah. you can, we just recommend trying to be a little bit more creative with your approach. Sure. So that you're well, and it's more, it's more building intrigue. Like I get that. Well, yeah. okay. So basically for those of you who don't know me, I'm a teacher. I've been a teacher for about 11, 12 years. I've actually lost count. Um, <laughs> I teach high school English <laughs> and theater and I have started like a teacher blog and YouTube channel and Instagram account. It's all like in one thing. Um, and so what I've started to do is, um, uh, monetize that a bit through the website, teachers pay teachers, where I am like loading my own curriculum and then selling it to other educators. And the other thing that's like, so what's really great about, I'll talk Instagram is that it's a great way for me to like network and find other teachers, but then it's also a great way for me to sell my own products. Right. And that's like the way that I do it. So the reason that I asked, like, are you allowed to explicitly talk about your products is because I feel like, um, that transparency is something that is working in my favor. Like I define myself as a teacher, like straight up high school, English language arts teacher. So I just wonder if like the transparency might work a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. Obviously I'm not quite in that world. So like I, yeah, that's why I asked. But so I've been on Instagram for like five months, I think. And there have been a few things that I've done that have like really built my following. And it's been kind of a slow build, but the engagement, like Kim was saying, is with like really getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And it's, um, a lot of it that comes from talking really, really frankly about like what I'm doing. So like, I know you guys do a lot of like posting your, um, workouts and like posting yourself working out. But like what I'm doing is I'm taking them like through my day and exactly like doing a lot of think aloud and like, sorry, I'm like trying to <laughs> think through how I would put this. Um, like in the teacher world, I basically treat my um, Instagram and the way that I'm presenting myself on Instagram the same way that I would do the exact same thing in my classroom, except that there's an added layer, which is that I'm a mom and my husband's a teacher. So I bring all that into it. And like, I get the most engagement on po posts that are about my whole entire life, but I always have to bring that back to like being a teacher. So I feel like, is that what you're talking about, Kim? Like trying to find the connection there and like connect the beach body coach to the whole person. Yeah. Yes. Trying to bring people on your journey more than just your fitness journey, but right. how you engage with people, um, maybe even how you tag, um, certain things, which then gives you more engagement through like other people's pages, that kind of thing. Um, because I think that that is, well, number one, Instagram is the number, I mean, Facebook is there, but you're, you're just going to have more traction. Uh, I barely use Facebook. Yeah. yeah. 
it's just growing faster. So it's honestly collaboration is the biggest thing that like grows for me. So if I'm, um, you guys are lucky in that you, you personally know each other, right. And you hang out at least weekly, like online like this. So that gives you real relationships. And I think showing those real relationships is something that people can like key into where it's like less talking about how it's changed your life and more like the things that I found really engaged on my Instagram or when I'm talking about things that, um, yes, have helped me and helped my life, but that I know we're going to help other people. And I show them exactly how it will do it. And I don't know how that's, an, I'm trying to explain it in a way that's different from what you're already doing. But I think if you show the true relationships and the friendships that you've built through this program and through coaching or just through working out together through your face, like rather than join our Facebook group, but like, look at how great this can be. And we are welcoming you with open arms. Do you know what I mean? No, I think that's great. I mean, I think, you know, a lot of the top coaches do workouts online together. Yeah. Yeah. They, like they doing lives together. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there've been a lot of people that I follow teachers that I've met through Instagram. We're planning to try and do a lot of like side by side plan with me, like lesson planning sections on, um, YouTube live and Facebook live, because those are an Instagram live. I mean, because those gain like huge buy-in and then like during the thing you say, Oh, and by the way, a bonus, like I'm going to offer this product for free, like for the next 20 minutes and then people can go and download it. And it just kind of gives them some buy-in and then it gives them a way to actually use the product. So like if there's something like this great meal plan or something that you guys have in your pocket, and I know you give that stuff out for free, but if that's like something you could focus on together and like sit down and have like, okay, let's meal plan together. Do you know what I mean? And so people can see the think aloud because it's a great, like even in my classroom, it's a fantastic teaching tool to just think through and let people see your process and see from beginning to end what you're doing. And they can tune in and out of it and they can kind of like do work while they're watching, but then they can kind of become the part of the community themselves. Totally. No, I yeah. think that's huge. I think that what's lacking in our, in our world is community. Right. And so like we heard a lot of at summit, like the, um, a lot of summit is really FOMO moments is mm-hmm. knowing people like you want to be here because this is so great. And look at, we're all together. Right. But there's right. no reason why we can't recreate those in um, our daily life via online or whatever. No, it's- absolutely. Well, and I feel like a lot of it too is that like the FOMO is a great part of it, but like from an outsider, because I mean, yes, I've done some of the beach body products, but like I'm really truly kind of an outsider and that I'm not doing this every single day. It looks like, um, to me, it looks like something that is unattainable and it's almost intimidating to a lot of people, I think because it's kind of like, well, yeah, of course she's got it all together. She's already a coach. Like they give her all that stuff. And even though you're giving the stuff away, if you can just like show yourself doing it, like sitting down and meal planning, and this is what this kid will eat, but this kid won't eat. So here's what we're going to make. And we're going to do this. And this is what I'm going to buy at the grocery store. And like the, like, not like, here's what I all have all done, but like, here's why I've chosen these things. I don't know. I think I'm like harping on meal planning. Cause that's what I was just thinking about. No, that's ago. Good. The planning is um, part. <laughs> and like sitting down and I know you've kind of like block scheduled your days before, but like doing that kind of stuff even together or like plan like a big party, but that's kind of what we're doing. Like an online party, you know, like that's what we've been doing. A few of my um, YouTube friends, like lesson planning, just do this big, huge thing where people can literally like bring their lesson plan book and sit down and we all share a bunch of texts and here's what we're going to do. And Hey, do you want to use this? Oh, this is great for seventh grade. Oh, blah, 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 blah. And it's a lot more collaborative and people who aren't even participating can just like be voyeuristic in a way and like, just watch it happen. Let me ask you, do you spend a lot of time going through and finding followers or do you, um, like engage on other people's Instagram? Yes. yes that's what I was going to talk about next. So like okay. there are probably 20 to 25. I try to keep it kind of small, like, um, some big and some small, just, um, accounts that I engage with on a regular basis. And by that, I mean, maybe some of them daily and some of them every other day to weekly. And they're people that like, I rem- you know how you can get to the point where you have so many followers and so many people commenting, but you don't even remember who they are because like, it's just such a like flurry of like messages. 
there are always those like few, like maybe even 10 that like stand out to you like immediately, right? That you're like, I totally get you. We connect, we're spirit animals. So those ones I try to keep in contact with so that they're showing up on my feed and they're like, they're showing up through the algorithm through my feed and I'm showing up through theirs because we're commenting back and forth and people are seeing like our conversation. Um, and the reason that I say like some of them have big followings, like some of them are in the like 20 and 50 thousands and some of them are in like 300 because I'm looking more at the quality of their posting than like their Size following. Up. So that, so that then it's, I mean, yes, it's totally a marketing ploy, but it's also a genuine conversation and I'm getting something out of it. Totally. I'm getting well, something tangible comes, more than just it, followers. Right. When it comes to business building, if we're searching yeah. coaches, that's how you're going to find, it's not going to be like, Hey, come join my team. No, no. it's going to be finding like, there's this chick I've been following forever. And I'm like, well, who are you? And why don't you, why aren't you a coach? But my better job would be to engage with her via, yes. via Instagram. To become a part of her life. Correct. And yeah. then, don't just pull her into yours. No. Get in. Yeah. 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 No, and it's hard. It's definitely hard. So like, I think when I started really engaging with people and like seeing, like, that's when I all of a sudden went from like 300 followers to like 1200 in like a matter of three days was I went from like, just actually, I got to know a few people and we would talk to each other and we like connected and people could see our friendship growing. And then like they chimed in and it was just really cool. Cause we were talking about our kids and we were, yes, we were talking about teaching. It's so, like, yeah, obviously you're going to talk about fitness, but you're also going to talk about like, you're all I'm sure at different points in your life, right? Some of you have kids, some of you don't have kids. Some of you are working full times, so, you know, like everybody's in such a, so you can like show and talk about that connection point and how it fits into your day and how it's not just like, Oh, it's just 30 minutes. You guys can, anybody can do it. But like, here's how. Right. right. You know what I mean? Yep. Totally. I don't know. Am I being helpful or am I no, just kind of are. reiterating no. things you guys already heard? No, it's good. I think it's, I'm I so think sweaty. it's helpful to hear it from somebody else is really what. Yeah. Well, helpful. and I have to say, and I'm going to be just totally honest, <laughs> Frank, <laughs> that, um, because the teacher community is also a big beach body coach community. It is. And there have been things where like, I see these amazing narratives and I'm like, wow, this person really changed their life. And like, look what they've done for themselves. And like, I like their photo and it had nothing to do with coaching. It had nothing to do. None of the text had anything to do with anything. And I get this spammy message. Yeah. I saw you liked my photo da, 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 da. and I'm like, oh, ugh, unfollow. And like, it's just something that like I, as an outside perspective, I'm like, oh my gosh, F off. Like, that's yeah. not, I was just trying to be your friend. <laughs> like, <laughs> and it's not that I'm opposed to any, I'm not opposed to any of it. It's just more of like, oh, that's not what I was looking for right then. If they had been upfront, I would have had a more, I still would have liked the photo. I still would have commented. I still would have, but I would have known what I was getting into to be like, oh yeah, I have tried it before. Like, you know, this is what I know. Or like, oh, my best friend could probably use blah, 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 blah. Right. But like the cover. Aware, like don't send, don't send a, hey, thanks for liking my post on like, that has nothing to do with fitness anything or or it does have something to do with fitness it's like look at the journey like this girl used to be me blah 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 blah, blah. but that's nothing right. about coaching that's nothing about shakeology it has nothing about beach body explicitly in the right. copy of the like comment or like the caption and then they're like hey have you ever thought about a, and then i have to be like okay well is this beach body yes yes i have done it like tell me what you're getting at here <laughs> right no that's good that's good yeah. No, it's, I it's, think it's funny too, because I think that, um, depending like, because Beachbody is just growing bigger and I think a lot oh. of people share what's working for them. And it's funny because totally. I've heard, I've heard that. Like, I think that there's a, um, guy named Josh Coates. He's like a big coach and he like talks about that. Like if someone likes your photo, send them a message saying this. And it's kind of like that, like, well, and it, and it's like, but then it, it's like, uh, we have a new coach boot camp that's going right now. And what, what I was talking about on my post yesterday, I did a live video and it was about inviting and it was like, create genuine connections with people. Like, and don't try right. to, if you're good, if you just want to invite them to a challenge group, don't start a conversation pretending you care about something else. Like just be direct and be like, hi, I don't know if you've seen my posts. Well, totally you've been interacting with them for so long. And they've probably seen some of them or they've been to your page or if they've not seen any of them, but you're still just like directly being honest with them. Like, right. Like, you know, well, and if it's something where it, and if it's something I think where you're kind of like, 
almost trying to tiptoe around like, well, they're going to lump me in with a bunch of people, Kim, like you were saying before, and just be like, hey, let me show you the truth about Beachbody. Like, let me show you really why I, why I endorse this. I am a real, true human being with actual family and actual feelings and a real job. And this is why this works for me. This right. is what I like about it. Yeah, sure. There's some parts that don't work for me. I don't do those parts. This is what I do. Right. I, like um, I, I think as like a consumer, I would appreciate that transparency and that just upfront, like, oh, this is what I'm going to get. Yeah. And I think that's true. I think that there's even like two different parts. So like even like doing posts where you're like upfront, like I am a Beachbody coach and this is why. And then the second part in terms of like the products where it's like, mm -hmm. I'll say my superfood shake instead of Shakeology. Um, because then people, which I did a post last week about this and two people were like, Oh, like, what are you drinking? As opposed to just being able to like Google it themselves and then just buy it through the website. And I'm like, Oh, oh no. yeah. So, you, you know, see, like, no, like, I get that. Yeah. Like, yeah. So, but it's interesting to think about talking about being a coach more frankly, and then they yeah. know beach body. So then if then there's things super food, it's not like a weird whatever. Um, but it is interesting to like, think about you know, cause I think we can get so sidetracked with like not being upfront about it. Like I was talking with, um, Andy and Kim, um, oh no, maybe it was Anna, one of my other coaches, like we're doing an info group for a program coming out, like a challenge group. Mm -hmm. And so I started this Facebook page. We post every day about the different programs, about the Shakeology, about what's in it, about the prices, whatever. And then the girl went and bought it through the website and said she didn't realize I was a coach. And I'm like, what do you think? <laughs> well, she, she may have been a little dull. <laughs> Maybe she, that's an extreme example. Yeah. I was like, am I, I might, yeah. did I not say? <laughs> Why am I doing any of this? <laughs> Do you see what I'm wearing? I'm yeah, literally like, holding a Shakeology cup. Yeah. Like, you dumb. Not, yeah. On Facebook. Um, that's but, funny. But yeah, but so it is interesting to think about the distinction of like, hey, like throw it out there every once in a while. Like I am a Beachbody coach and this is why. And yeah. Then, you know, well, and I think also like looking at the posts on Instagram that get the most engagement, like the ones that are about your real life and your family and your personal life, um, finding a way, and this is hard, but like finding a way that genuinely connects it back to why you're here in the first place. Right. Like why, why you're even doing this, why you even started this business. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Marie, do you feel like you, um, you use the new IGTV? I've started to. I, mm -hmm. Okay, let me tell you why I like it. Because <laughs> I think I love it. Um, I like it because it lets me just kind of, it's so informal. And yes, stories are super informal, but they're so fast. You can use a story to direct people to your IGTV. And it's not as like, it, I feel like I don't have to be as put together as I do on my YouTube channel. I don't have to be as like cohesive, what, what but I can, IGTV? I can just be up there. It's new. Maybe you can kind of tell us what it is. Okay. So I, and I don't know that much about it, but basically IGTV is, um, Instagram trying and Facebook who owns Instagram, right? Trying to put, um, the best of all social media platforms onto Instagram. So it's longer video, it's long form video. So you can get just IGTV, the app itself, oh. or you can also access it through your Instagram. So if you look, like if you open your Instagram account, no, oh, hi little baby, sorry. <laughs> um, I can hear my daughter screaming across the hallway because I'm not putting her to bed. <laughs> you can see there's like a little up by the um, stories, there's a little IGTV dot or whatever, like icon. And so I've put up a few. It's not up there? No, you can't. I was trying to show you, but it's too bright. Oh. <laughs> You're good. Um, so I've put up, like I started with just a little video because basically I keep going to the stupid Target dollar bins and they haven't stocked the back to school stuff yet. And it's like making me insane. So I keep posting about it on my Instagram story. And I finally was just like, okay, you guys are going to get me walking through the stupid store. Like, here we go. They <laughs> so many people. Are they like 24 hour videos? Or no, like, they stay they forever. Like YouTube videos almost? They never they, go away. They never go away. Interesting. So it's basically like taking long form story highlights. So it's FB live just on Instagram. But the other thing is you can, right now they have to be under 10 minutes, right? Okay. So like yesterday I posted one that was like a book review about um, a book that I would use to teach the theme of empathy in my classroom. And it's like a thing that I've started. Um, and I 
I made the video in parts and it was like way too long. So I, I edited it on my iMovie on my phone and then I uploaded it. So you can edit, like it doesn't have to be one stream of consciousness, but right. it doesn't have to have like the opening credits that like a YouTube channel would have. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's YouTube without the pressure and it's so much because it's also meant for like vertical video for portrait. And it's kind of awesome because <laughs> you can get on there and really talk and like, yes, it's like a live, but it does last forever. So I like it. And you can put links in your description. So if you have like your coach blog or whatever it is, or if there's a link that you're like, Hey, if you want to get your hands on the superfood shake, follow the link in the, in the caption. Oh, yeah. And then that can send them to your sale page. Mm -hmm. But you could totally do like parts of your workout on IGTV. Because it doesn't have to be 15 seconds. Right. Hmm. Okay. So then does it live on your profile or does it live in your stories? It lives both. So if you look on your profile, there's a little IGTV icon next to your highlights, but it's also up in your stories. Well, you can access it. Okay. So like if you go on your Instagram right now, unless you're on your phone and mine's about to die because I'm. Oh, you do it on your computer. Can you, you do, do it on your computer? computer? Oh, never mind. You meant unless you're on your phone for this right. call. Currently. I you. Okay. Oh. I'm trying to. So it's up here. Okay, in it's the not corner. working. It's like, right yeah. oh, I see. oh, I don't have that. I just up updated my app too. How interesting. So yeah. yeah. So it's like right there. It's cool. So like you can go on and it's like TV, you can like browse through channels or you can just go through somebody specific. So like, here's it's my kind of creepy. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of cool though. Right. And That's it starts off like all fuzzy, like it's an old TV and, it's, and then it turns on. Did you see that? Isn't that weird? So like, here's my profile. I don't know how well you can see it. So but is it like a live IG. on IG stories where people it will pop up and you can see instantly who's watching it? Um, no, because yeah, I upload it. I it. upload it separately. Oh, you have to, okay. So it's not like a live, but it's, it's the way that I use it is similar to being on a live in that I'm just kind of doing it and I'm not really editing all that much unless it's too long, which is what happened to me yesterday. And then I edit it down and then you upload it separately, but you can go back and look at your analytics later. I'm curious because I feel like with my lives on my stories, I don't get as many viewers on those. Right. As they do doing like the 15 second videos. You know what I mean? Do people know that they're coming? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I need ID training. But do you know what I mean? Like you, so, so well now or you say hit up my yeah. life. Right. Right. Uh, but it. now like tomorrow I'm going to post on here because I put up this great book review a picture of the book just on a regular Instagram post and be like, Hey, if you want to see my review, check out my IGTV on it. Sure. All right, Kim. <laughs> I'm laughing at my children. Uh, Andy, I just wanted to let you know if you can also, like if you do a live and you feel like you're not getting a lot of traction or whatever, you can save that live video yeah. and upload it onto your IGTV. So people will have it to reference back to forever. Yeah. It's really cool. At first, I was like, what's the point of this thing? But it's yeah. pretty awesome. It okay. is awesome. I'm wondering if there's a way to streamline your Facebook Live. <laughs> oh, that's the other thing. You can put your IGTV and hook it onto your Facebook. Because that would say... I card. <laughs> right, not having to go do a bunch of stories oh, or... I mean, that's the beauty of Facebook owning the world, is that you can literally load this everywhere. So when you're uploading an IGTV, you can add it to your Facebook page, just like this. <laughs> it's cool. It's, um, I've only done a few of them, but they're, they're cool. And so I think I'm going to use it differently, obviously than my stories because it's longer, but like the stories are almost just going to be little snippets here and there. I use them a lot for, um, polls and that sort of thing, just to like engage and like see what people want to hear from me. And then I do what they want to hear. Oh, that was my shirtless husband. Sorry. <laughs> my shirtless <laughs> husband and my screaming daughter. Um, but 
Oh, crap. What was I just saying? Sorry. Oh, okay. So basically like my stories I use mostly for um, like quick little funny things that just kind of engage people and like little here's this and that. And then I also use them a lot for polls, just like asking just today, I said, would you guys want to see videos of my, like, you know, how teachers love to do, or like bloggers love to do like shopping hauls. Like, would you want to see what I bought on teachers pay teachers, my curriculum for back to school? I got like over 200 responses, like within a couple of hours. So that's a cool way to really engage with your audience too. And I'm sure you guys are doing it, but it's just like a cool way to just be really explicit and be like, what do you guys want to see? Okay, here it comes. And then to be able to advertise like, okay, well now that you said this is what you want to see, go to my Instagram, um, I, my IGTV, because here's where it all is. And you can like divvy up your content that way to make it easier on yourself. Like that's the biggest thing is I'm just trying to make it easier on myself. <laughs> this is fascinating. So I just up updated my app. So now I do have IGTV. So I'm going to have it's to do fun. some research on this. You're going to go down a rabbit hole. Fair warning. Well, I think what I think what I'm seeing a lot of is like I just was looking at your post right now, and I see a lot mm -hmm. of coaches do this. Like, they're tagging. You're tagging people you're talking to. Mm -hmm. you're tagging like even even though this doesn't never has made sense to me, like Carl or you know they're always like tag us because then when yeah. you go to their yeah. if you're like interested in Beachbody you go to their stuff, they're going to like see people yeah. are gonna then see you. And so I just think there's a lot more of like, let's put it all back together. I feel like is the, like, make totally. sure you go to my Instagram story. So like recently I asked Andy, I was like, do you think it's silly that I post my workout video on Instagram and on Instagram stories? And she's like, yeah, I think just do stories and just yeah. do a post in the morning, but maybe then refer people. If you want to see my workout this morning, check out my stories would be like a better choice or my IGTV. I, do you want me to make you that macaroni? I think I that know. is probably like the perfect way to do it and to almost like differentiate within your own mind. Like, okay, my Instagram posts are going to be for this, 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 this. Here's the aesthetic of my feed. And here's the feel and what's happening on my feed business-wise, blah, 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 blah. And then like more specifically, this is exactly what I'm going to be putting on my stories. This is exactly what I'm going to be putting on IGTV so that you can really like know what you're putting where and do it strategically so that you can help yourself feed into all of these different areas. You know what I mean? Another thing I've been wondering in terms of stories is predictability versus not being predictable. Like if I'm posting the same, like every morning, my devotional and then my workout and then, you know, my this and my that. I think people follow you because they want to see what you're doing, Andy. So just do what you're doing. Do you know what I mean? Even I don't think you have so to spice it up. My stories, I've been trying to spice it up. And tonight I tried and Eric's like, I, you shouldn't have done that. I'm like, you don't even know what I do stories is. What did you do? <laughs> what did you what do possibly Eric did you do? Can you just yeah. not? <laughs> what did you do? I know. I'm like it was really... just a, a lame view of the boys dancing. And not that that like spices up, but he's like, you've never done that. Why are you doing that? No, I would totally. It goes away 24 hours, and now you're freaking me out. Like, leave me alone. Oh, for cool. the Monday night party dance party or whatever. Yeah, last night. that was cute. I posted. I mean, dancing last week. Earlier this morning, I posted a video of my daughter decapitating a doll because she did, <laughs> and then she was afraid of the doll, and I got <laughs> because its head came off. Even though I fixed its head, she still won't touch the doll anymore, and it was like her favorite. But I put it on my story, and like. I got tons of engagement from it. And I actually, I got like, I don't know, 20 or 30 more followers. Not that that's a huge amount, but like it kind of happened because people were like sending each other the video and it just shows it had nothing to do with teaching. It had no tags. It had nothing like that, but it just kind of showed my life. You know what I mean? Okay. That's when you're store doing stories, are you always geotagging and hashtagging every story? No. no. Okay. Tell me your flow with that. So, what is my flow with that? Honestly, if it's natural, if it makes sense, cause I'm like reading, Oh, hi baby girl. Um, if I'm like reading with my son, right. If I'm reading with Wyatt, I will, I will hashtag, hashtag teacher mom, right. Hashtag young readers and do that kind of thing because that goes into me being an English teacher and it all makes sense. But like decapitating a doll, I did nothing. Yesterday we made jello jigglers like Lego bowls. And I think I tagged jello, the company 
jello. <laughs> and like, I got a bunch of engagement with it. And this is all just in my stories. Um, just like, because for a while there, I was like trying so hard to really plan out stories the way that I would plan out my posts. And it was too much. And it came off as completely inauthentic. And people were like, I could, you know how you can see if people are getting out of your story? They were like going right out every single time. Yeah. And then when I started just being a real person and I like, it really like jumped a couple of weeks ago when I was at, I was setting up my classroom and this custodian came in and he was a total dick to me. And I just like told the story and, um, I didn't tag anything, but all of a sudden went, Phew! and then like these, these things where I'm showing my target fails because they haven't stopped the dollar bins. I'm tagging that with like hashtag target fail. And like, I'm, I'm like tagging at target and it's like getting more it's, it's, it's picking up steam because it's also people are following hashtags. You know what I mean? So if there's something that you do regularly, like Monday, crazy boy dance parties, then that's something that all of you can be doing together and participating in. And then that will trend. And it's a part of your real life. Yeah. No, I think, and then you're letting people in more and more. And Absolutely. And I mean, like you, yeah. yeah, like my husband does not want to be on screen. He's told me. He doesn't want to be on, so he's not. <laughs> That's so funny because I feel like Sean would just be such a ham. Like I feel like he would be so funny to watch. He's such a doof. Well, and okay, I have too. tagged your husband in an Insta story at Brittany's wedding. I know, and he <laughs> sweat for like three days over it because he was so uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell him I need Instagram training, so not very many people saw it. So not to worry. No, he's fine. Don't worry, he's fine. But um, it's just, I, I mean, I, so. And I'm really upfront about that. Like, you know, yes, my husband's a teacher and I talk about him all the time and I've gotten a few messages like, who is this enigma of a husband? And I'm like, he just isn't comfortably being on social media. And they're like, okay, I get that. And so, but my kids don't care. They're, they'll go naked. They don't care. Um, but I think that that's part of the transparency too. Of just like, you know, here, here I am, like Andy, here I am, a mother of four, one of whom is my newborn and this is what's really saving my life right now. I don't have to think about breakfast and make shake. Right. Yeah. And I know you guys post about that stuff, but if they can see the true background of like what's really going on and not just having you talk about it, but like seeing it happen, I think, I think you'll just save a bunch of people from their own misery. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> that's the plan. That's the goal. Well, yeah. I mean, I don't think any of you is in this just to like make a quick buck. I think you're in this because you want to help people. We go sell shampoo if we want. No, I'm just kidding. We were talking about it earlier. It was. She told me. Yeah, she told me story. Yeah. Still. Really quick. I know. I know. A lot of people need to hop off at seven thirty, but I just really. Can we just smile really fast? We're gonna take a picture. Maria oh. photo. Okay. So I'm just gonna oh, I look. No, you're good. You can't Thank everybody's girl. very small because there's so many humans on here. Oh, how exciting. This is um, I just want to smile. What's that? I will let you know when to yeah. I mean to smile. Okay. I'm so fascinated by this whole app. Oh <laughs> gallery. Oh, I see it now. Oh, there you go. Okay, smile. Okay, great job. Thank okay, you. Okay, great. Um All right. I have to hop off to catch the last bus, but um, you guys, it was so fun. Thank you so much for everyone who hopped on. And Marie, thank you so much. It was so fun. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for having me. I hope yeah. I helped. I oh, mean, it, it totally did. It's so nice okay. to just hear someone's other perspective of like okay, good. the beach body land, as Kim calls it, beach body land. <laughs> um, I it's know, true. It's well, like an I island. Know, if there's any questions that people have for Marie, um, Brett, I know you need to go because yeah. we don't miss the bus, but okay. we love you. Love you guys. Hi. Um, if anyone has any questions for Marie, um, you're all muted, but you can unmute yourself and go ahead and ask away. There's oh yeah, specific. I'm good. My kids are asleep. Yay, mine are screaming. That's fun. That's super fun, isn't it? Super fun. So um, I can tell you. Oh yeah, go. Sorry. Uh, the Instagram account so I can follow it. Oh mine? Yeah. It's um it's uh the caffeinated class. So like my business is called the caffeinated classroom, uh -huh. but my Instagram handle is the caffeinated class. Sweet. Thanks. I'll follow you back. Okay, so you said that just to kind of recap, that the way that you've gained most followers is by engaging. So you're not are you actively following people and then actively trying to engage with them so that in mm -hmm. hopes that they tag you or follow you back? 
it's um it's more i'm not even this sounds so gimmicky but i'm actually not that worried about whether or not they follow me back i'm more worried about whether their content is um good and like i'm looking to make this social media enhance my life and my teaching practice so like I guess the, and the other thing that I've, I also follow moms too. Like I follow working moms. So if I look at like the two parts of my life, that's like the wife and the mom and like balancing all of that with the teacher. Cause it's such a big, huge part of me. And so those are the two things that I really follow. Mm -hmm. Um, and then those, those are the conversations in which I engage also. Um, so like the things where, like Kim was saying, like tagging big people, there are a couple of posts, um, where I've tagged some really big teacher bloggers and it's because I'm using their product and I'm just like, Hey, and sometimes I'll DM them too and just be like, Hey, FYI, I'm going to be making a video. I'm using your product. Is that okay with you? And then they'll say, hell yeah, let me know. And I'll advertise it for you. So like that's coming down the pike for me. Um, and I'm sure, like, think about other things too. Like you guys read, you watch TV, like think about the different parts of your life that you can just really show what a person you are. I know that books are a huge thing amongst teachers and amongst moms right now, like trending on Instagram. Um, so if there's like, if that's something that you can kind of hook into and make like a, almost, almost like a weekly, um, gosh, like a theme out of it might help because then that gives you then it doesn't make you feel like you're floating in the space of like oh gosh i have to engage with all of these things but just like okay i think on like mondays and tuesdays i'm gonna engage with book accounts or <laughs> like you know what i mean like wednesdays yeah. and thursdays are gonna be the times that i engage with fit moms and like that kind of a thing well i think that you you know i think if you're doing nothing at this point like you're just on instagram i'm literally speaking to myself at this point in the game <laughs> you're doing nothing i literally do nothing with my instagram account except for post on it every single day and have forty thousand ig stories but i don't engage with anyone i don't do anything right probably a week ago i started following people that were following me just the where it tells you like yeah, I just would follow. Well, since I've started doing that, I've seen probably an increase of 10 to 15 followers, you know, over oh, yeah. the course of five days. Oh, yeah. Um, but my goal, and like I tell Andy this all the time, I'm like, I just need to like find five people. But just do five, Kim. Don't even mm -hmm. like, don't even no, say, no, no, no. Five. Start small. Yeah. yeah. Don't even be like, I'm going to shoot for 20. Cause all the top coaches, they do like 50 and that's great. I just don't have that capacity in my life right now. No. So, and it's not going to be worth it. It's just going to make you tired. Right. So <laughs> aim for five accounts that are potential are people like you and, and you're right. using that, that hashtag, you know, list that you create. That's you totally. No, know, that's what you are totally. and see what you can find. And I would even say, keep the, um, if as much as you can, because this is your business, obviously you guys are going to be making money off of people who are joining your challenges and buying challenge packs and doing that sort of thing. But if that can be the like 30% and the 70% is more selfishly trying to find things that enhance your own life and engaging with that kind of a thing, you're going to become an expert. Yeah. without pushing out you're going to be an expert by pulling in does that make any sense no totally yeah you're going to find new friends that you will engage with and who will come to you and ask you questions for things like i've all of a sudden started to get people coming to me asking me to to contribute to their blog posts on english teacher stuff just because i'm just being me right and talking about the crap that comes naturally and it makes it a lot less stressful and it makes it fun. No, I agree. Um, I am trying to get better at like scheduling my posts though, so that that isn't always like a last minute thing. That's something I need to work on. Well, and we learned today with Rachel Hollis, she uses Planoly. Yes, that's supposed to be amazing. Um, but yes. Well, and, and the, just the last kind of thing that I would say that you kind of touched on is you really want your Instagram to be your storefront, right? Like mm -hmm. it's your, it's your storefront. It's not busy. It's not like all over right. the place. It's very cohesive and has like yeah. a general look. Your IG stories is where your life is messy or now. Absolutely. Absolutely. Whatever. That's, and that's, I think where like my, um, 
my engagement in my account has started to really take off is when I started to employ that strategy. Yeah. yeah. And it makes it just so much easier for me because, you know, I could, well, if I got my craft together, I could sit down and plan out two weeks of content for my posts, bam, done. And then stories, who cares if they're not great? You just delete it if you need to. It doesn't have anything to do with your aesthetic and your feed. And those can just be spur of the moment. Yeah. yeah. Like and the it. other fun thing about stories, you guys, is that you, they, there's now a new thing where you can, in your stories, share other people's posts and share your own posts in your stories. And so like, have you seen it? Has anybody seen that? No. Say that again. You can what? So you can share like, see. you can share someone's IG story. You can share someone's IG. Uh, I don't know about that, but like, no. I could go on to your, like, let's say Kim, you put up this amazing post and like, it's um, all about like, I Hey guys, go Marie. I mean, obvi. <laughs> so like, let's say you put up this post with this amazing quote and it's like, Hey, today I am going to be doing a live plan with me session at such and such time you guys can all share that story together. Like I could, in my stories, share your post. And oh, then that links back to your account through my story without, like it just automatically tags you. It's just a really cool way to like weave it all together. Yeah, no, I like that. Yeah, I, like that. I think I'm yelling and my daughter hears me. No yelling. I'm, I'm trying not to. Well, that's great. Um, no, this is all very helpful. Any other, any other questions, comments? Um, Anything else for Marie specifically? And then we can hop off or she can stay and learn about more Beachbody. But just if there was any questions that you had about Beachbody as well or what we talked about earlier, I'd love to answer any of those as well. I know we've run a little late, but that's okay. No? If, if you guys think of questions later, I'm happy to like, if you wanna message me or whatever, I'm happy to answer them to the best of my ability because I am by I, no means an expert in this. <laughs> I definitely recommend going and watching and looking at her stuff and just seeing how she's doing things because I think something that you touched on is that we are more than we are more than just a person who knows a beach body Netflix program. We have so much more to offer, but it's something sometimes we sell ourselves short because we think we don't have that much more to offer. And I think if you go to Marie's page, you learn like Oh, she's teaching you how to do this and she's teaching you how to do that. And it goes for you as well. Like you, there are things that you, you have that you might not even think you have, um, to offer something. And the free offer is really where it's at. Well, um, and the, the free offer is something that you know is going to be helpful. Like, right. right. Um, and I have to say that like, I'm really good at sharing myself like this because I'm a high school teacher. So I share myself in front of teenagers on a daily basis and they're the scariest people alive. Right. But it was still scary to be like, does anybody even give like two SHITs about what I'm talking about? <laughs> and sometimes they don't, but then sometimes they do. And like, that's the beauty of like Andy was saying, stories is gone in 24 hours, unless you put it in your highlight, it's just gone. So if you kind of start there and do like a soft launch of yourself and just kind of start talking about, and to be really upfront, like, hey guys, I really want to engage with more of you. So here's what I'm going to start doing. Tell me what you want to hear about. Like, here are the different parts of my life let me start showing you on Tuesdays, I'm going to give you these tech tips or something like that. It can help you divide out what you're going to do so that you don't feel overwhelmed by it. And then it can also just, it starts to come more naturally once you start doing it. Yeah. yeah. No, that's good. Really good. Well, thanks Marie. Fun. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for having me. This is fun. Thanks. Sorry, I'm a big talker. Sorry guys. No, you're fine. You're, you're good. I'm long winded. I love it. This was very helpful. Thank you so much. Oh, good. My pleasure. All right. I have to go get my screaming toddler. Go so help your husband. I, I know. My shirt. Maybe he's put on a shirt. Probably not. Let's be honest. He's probably shirtless. Bye. All right. Bye. Okay. Well, before we just wrap up, is there any other questions, comments? Anything? No? Nothing? Okay. Well, we'll see you next Tuesday. Right? right. That sounds bad. Okay. Um, was this helpful? Was this like good to kind of hear just somebody else's perspective on social media and
Yeah. I loved it. I thought it was very helpful. No, I think this, this is my first like real team call that I hopped on. Like I remember when I first signed up as a discount coach, I hopped on one and knew no one and I was so scared. So I just hopped off. Um, like this was so much fun and it was so great to like get a different perspective, but also just like get even more time and knowledge with like fellow coaches. So I love these and this is going to be a new weekly staple for me. Hey, so great. Well, we're glad. Our hope is that we can just add value. And, you know, um, obviously we're all learning. I mean, we just learned all about IGTV. <laughs> you know, it's just a whole new world. Everything new. <laughs> Doesn't matter who you are. And that's, I think, the, th the biggest thing is that these top coaches are blowing up because they're not, not because they know what they're doing. It's just because they're learning and they're implementing. And, you know, you just got to put yourself out there and do the things and you get the results. Just like, just like a fitness program. So. Cool. All I right. love what she was saying too, though, about like just hearing her perspective of like those cold messages, like, oh, have you ever thought about coaching? You're like, oh, yeah, that, <laughs> that was good. Me. I felt that way. I do have, I appreciate that. And I always have that in the back of my mind. Sorry, my kids are so loud. Um, but I also think that if like, I'm willing to put that out there. Um, I think, you know, trusting that the right people will say yes. I'm not going to stop doing that entirely. That's how I've built my entire business is doing that. And I used to take longer. I would reach out to people to try to form a relationship first to get to an invite. And to me, that felt icky. So now I get straight to it and I'll say, thank you for liking my post, even when it had nothing to do with what I'm about to say. And I'll say, I don't even know if you've seen me talk about this before, but I wanted to bring it to your attention because I think it would be rad for you if you're interested in it or whatever. So I don't, that's just my take. I'm not saying that's what everybody should do, but yes, that was a little gut punch when she said that to me because I totally do that all of the time. But it's also how I'm helping at least five, 10 people every month and how I'm recruiting people to our team. So, right. And not to everyone, but to some people might be unfollowing me yeah. to get to the people who I'm helping. That's my perspective on it. Yeah. Because there are people you look at and you're like, you would be an awesome coach. Have you ever thought about it? But then there's other people who are like, I'm just going to say thanks for liking my post because you probably wouldn't be, but maybe you'll think about it. But there was a Beachbody Champions call not long ago from, what's her name, Kim? The second girl with the weird last Faber. Emily Faber. Yeah, Emily Faber. And it was like about her mindset on how this is all a gift. Did anyone watch that? I haven't seen it, but that is my same mindset. This so is so good that was given to me. So mm -hmm. I will shout it to everybody and I will invite everybody unapologetically. And if you right. decide to unfollow me, I get it. Maybe I'm super annoying to you, but the next girl might say yes and tell me, thank you down the road. Like that's how I look at it because I'm the girl who says, thank you. You know what I mean? Yeah. And kind of, I, I just on everything, everything she said, because as soon as she brought up IGTV, I wanted to roll my eyes. I go, no, not another thing. Take action, you guys. Don't let everything that you heard tonight paralyze you because that's where you get stuck and that's where businesses don't happen. So you can roll your eyes and you can feel a little bit like, I don't even know what I'm going to do because that's how I feel right now, but I'm going to figure it out and I'm going to try to just implement it as best I can. Um, and, you know, the whole point is getting your message out, just like she was saying, sharing you authentically, but don't let information from any team call paralyze you because that doesn't help. No. Okay, I better go before my poor husband doesn't talk yeah, to my, me. All of my kids have joined the team call. Well, at least yours are joiners. I just hear like not good out there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be a nice wife. Um, P.S. I totally forgot to hit record. My bad. Um, I started it maybe like midway through our beginning talk. So most of it's on there, but just for those that are catching the recording, you missed about 15 minutes. So sorry. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll see you guys next Tuesday. And if you are watching this and you have questions for myself or Marie, um, uh, you know, or for any of us, let us know. Well, I'm looking at Gary. All right. <laughs> That's your cue. <laughs> Carter, those are really cute. Can you say hi? Hi. Hi. Hi, Carter. Hi. Oh, you want to say hi to you one last time, otherwise we're going to be all sad.
Okay. Hi, Hi, Hedy. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Are you mesmerized by all this? <laughs> <laughs> Are those, I see the baby right there. You see the baby? She needs to go to sleep. Yeah, him too. All right, well. <laughs> can you say bye-bye? Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, bye bye. Bye, friends. Bye. bye. Is there a chat? Was there a question? No. Okay, bye.